John Gill, Exposition of the Bible, Revelation, chapter 2, verse 22. Behold, I will cast her into a bed of sickness and languishing, and which denotes the sickly, pining, and languishing state of the Church of Rome as a just retaliation for her bed of luxury, deliciousness, idolatry, and adultery. She had indulged herself in, this was threatened, and was yet to come and began at the time of the Reformation, signified by the next church state, and ever since, the whore of Rome had been visibly sickening and decaying. The Alexandrian copy reads, quote, into a prison, unquote. And them that committed adultery with her into great tribulation, the kings of the earth and their subjects, who have joined in the idolatries and corruptions of the Romish church. Revelation 17, verse 2. Which may be understood either of that distress and uneasiness the Reformation in some countries gave them, or those outward troubles, wars, and desolations they have been since attended with, particularly the emperor of Germany, which has been in great tribulation, formerly by the Turks and of late by internal boils, among themselves and by the armies of other princes, entering into it, or it may regard that eternal vengeance that will be recompensed to all such persons. Footnote from the reader. This was written in 1748. So he's talking about Germany during the, the trouble, during the mid-1700s. End of the footnote. Except they repent of their deeds, their spiritual fornication or idolatry, and all the abominations the members of that apostate church are guilty of. There seems to be an allusion in this verse to Isaiah and Jerome, sons of Ahab and Jezebel, who followed their mother's idolatrous practices and were cast upon a bed of sickness. 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 2. End of Revelation chapter 2, verse 22. John Gill.